Hey y'all, it's your girl Amaya Zay back with another tutorial and today I'm going to show you all how I achieve clean parts when it comes to braiding and locks. So one of my top products that I use on my clients here is Neat Braid. You can find it in your local beauty supply store, it's on Amazon. Um, I got this big jar through a woman in my city, but if you need the smaller one that have it, online or in the beauty supply store so yeah right now i'm just slicking her hair up and um getting it preparing it to be sleek and clean so that way when i part it makes it so much easier so don't be afraid to apply product like i tell everybody that the more product the better so don't be scared slap all that on their head and keep it pushing you want to make sure that you comb comb through their hair once you apply that product comb it you want to make sure that it's blended into the hair like don't let it just sit up there like comb it so it, it's getting there getting in there sleek and clean and it's smooth like look how that knee break got her hair so straight and smooth like it's just oh it's so beautiful <laughs> but yeah comb it comb it up comb it up please comb the product in and so now i'm about to take my part comb and i'm going to split her hair up the middle first now usually i section all of her hair off but because i was pressed for time i didn't do it that way so anyways i'm showing you how i split up the middle and doing that i use this method all the time doing this helps me make sure that my lines are clean and they're straight so i'm going to go across on the left side and i'm going to make a straight line and you always have to think about geometry when you do it. I think that's geometry. I don't know. But think about geometry when you're doing it because it literally, it, it's all a mind thing. Like if you just take your, it's like a, riding a straight line. Take that comb and just go straight across. And I'm going to do the same thing on the right side. Now it might not be neat at first, but you want to, before you put that jam on the part, you want to make sure that you get it as neat as possible. So all you have to do is just clean it up. So as you can see, I'm just trying to make sure that it's neat that before I put the neat braid on there on, the, on her part that I have a straight line and I think I got it so yeah okay so now this is the part that I was talking about you want to make sure that you take it and clean it up um, I take my knee braid again. I'm going to put it on the part again. I must say, please do not be scared to use product. Okay, a lot of people parts do not come out clean because they they don't want to use too much, but it's never too much product. Okay, and I'm basically just going in here from the side because I really wanted y'all to see. So if it looked crooked on camera, just know that off camera I straightened it up. But I did it from the side so y'all could see what I'm doing exactly. I'm just going back in and I'm trying to make sure that it's straight. I'm so clumsy. But I'm trying to make sure that it's straight because um, you want to make sure that it's even on both sides. And now for my, now this client, just a disclaimer, she got small parts. But anytime I do small parts, I always make sure that in the, the first row in the back, they're they're bigger because I don't want to pull out their my clients edges and I know tension when it comes to pulling it up in a ponytail when new growth comes it can hurt so I make the, that first row in the back bigger than I do the rest when it comes to small parts just for that reason Okay, so again, I cleaned it up off camera because I work from the back and not the front, inside, the front of the side. I don't do all that. But um, now I'm going to split that down the middle again. We're going to split our part down, the, our section down the middle. And doing this is going to help make sure that my parts are even, my boxes are even. I do square parts. So I'm going to take that, that right side and I'm going to split it in half. So in total, there will be four, four parts on the first row okay four parts on the first row so again i'm going in i'm cleaning it up and i would repeat this on the same 
side on the other side I'm sorry on the other side I repeat this step on the side now to help me I like to twist my lock my um hair I said locks I am doing locks but I like to twist my sections off because it keeps hair separated and it helps me see like if I need to take some hair away from one side and add it to the other side or whatever the case may be so if you like this hack I would suggest doing it just twist up your sections when you're finished party and it'll help you see like what your what you can basically envision what your braids or what your locks are going to look like if you do it that way Okay, this is just a full disclaimer again she's getting small parts so when I'm doing this section it's smaller than the first section but again I have already sectioned it off and parted it um, but I'm going to show you how I make sure my boxes are clean now I didn't really get enough content so I hope that what I did get is enough for you to understand the concept of how I part and I hope I give enough tips to help you so then that way whenever it's time for you to do another client or if it's your daughter or your cousin your sister your mama that you know like what to do um but yeah as you can see I'm just gonna let y'all watch I mean it's kind of self-explanatory now um we've done this already we've done this part already so yeah Okay, now for this, I had to literally come in and say something because there is something that I usually do to help make my part straighter. And I don't think a lot of people notice it, but stretching out the hair a little bit as you're parting also helps you create a clean part. Like, if you pay attention to how I'm trying to clean up her part and I'm holding her, bringing her, holding her hair down 
in my hand but i'm actually tugging it down a little bit it's not it's not tight or anything but it's just to stretch the scalp out a little bit and it helps me create that that clean neat straight part because i can get to it if i'm stretching i can see what areas is uneven or what doesn't look right because again when you're braiding you're stretching it out so when i'm parting i want to make sure that i'm stretching it out as if it's already locked or if it's already in the braid
Okay, so I think we're getting close to the towards the end of the video because I think this is where I'll stop recording. But this is important, and I'm glad I caught this. So basically, after this, you can just continue the rest of the steps the same way. I'm doing what I said I did, and I sectioned her hair off into three sections. As I get close to the top, I, I'll do that. And I'm slicking her her hair up with the neat braid, making sure strip with product. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to the front parting the front determines how you parted the rest of the hair in the back. So I'm going to use the that first that row that you see with that lock right there. I'm going to use that the most latest part as a guide. So everything is in a straight line. That's going to determine your parts being neat. You must do this step. Use that as a guide and meet that part, basically. It's basically just meeting it. And that's how I, you know, make my, my front clean because I don't really necessarily know how to part. I know, I know that some braiders, they part um, their hair all the way around like they can just do that but me personally when i'm doing my small parts i like to make sure that everything is the same size so doing it this way guarantees that it's going to be the same size so you're just going to do that and you're going to clean it up and as you can see it's a straight line ladies it's a straight line so just continue to do that do continue to use the uh, steps that i and the tips that i use um throughout the rest of the head. Um, I used, I usually like to, I would say, part from the back, and then once you get your back foundation, you can move to the front. So if you're a beginner, I suggest do the back first, do the whole back, and then move to the front. It'll be so much easier on you, less hassle or whatnot. And me, I don't part the whole head when I do my locks. I just don't. I usually just, um, part and lock as I go because if I if I do that it lets me envision and see if the part needs to be bigger if I need to go smaller or what I need to do how the style is going to look if it if it's too full or not if I need to add more locks or whatever so I usually just part and go like part lock and go um I don't just part and then continue to do the next step I do everything at one time. That's just me. But do it as you please. Um, do what works best for you. That's what I have to tell everybody. Like my technique might not work for you, um, or whatnot. But I really do hope that y'all enjoyed this video and y'all were able to get some type of pointers or tips or whatnot. This is the final style. What it looked like. What it came out to look like. Um, these are my knotless locks. So if you really enjoyed this video, if you need another full detailed video because I didn't get enough, don't be afraid to let me know in, in the comment box below. Make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see next. And I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Bye.